All right, got that replay. Fox 11 Los Angeles coverage from this morning. They said police are in pursuit of a reported stolen vehicle in Orange County. Friendly reminder, this is only about seven minutes long, but gives us something to watch. Okay, it's going this way, okay? So let's not let these guys get ahead of us. What agencies are on this uh, desk? No, this isn't CHP. That's not CHP. That's not, there is some CHP, but there's other, uh, okay, on the south side of, south side, this is on, this is on, Lampson Avenue. Okay, you got five, you got four, you got seven. What are we going to bring? An alleged stolen truck down below here. This uh, truck being pursued by the California Highway Patrol as well as a couple of other agencies on the ground and the, in the air. There's a California Highway Patrol helicopter circling as well. We believe this truck failed to yield. Perhaps there's a California Highway Patrol helicopter circling as well. We believe this truck failed to yield. Perhaps a minor traffic violation from LA County in the Long Beach area over to Orange County. It traveled on the 91, the 710 freeway. The last 10 or 15 minutes, so it's primarily been on surface streets like down below. This is Lampson Avenue near Los uh, Alamitos uh, Airfield. It's approaching uh, the merge with the 22 and the 405 as well. A number of units uh, pursuing uh, this truck. Again, allegedly stolen. It's a high-sided vehicle here, so the maneuverability of that truck isn't going to be uh, too uh, too much uh, either. There's the uh, 22 405 merge coming into play, and he is heading in a westbound direction. Uh, this suspect, uh, an alleged car stolen vehicle suspect being pursued by the CHP and some other agencies as well that join in as to this pursuit enters their jurisdiction. Uh, again, they want to keep everybody safe first. They want to make sure everybody backs off. Uh, nobody tries to be a hero in situations like that. Remember, if you ever do uh, encounter a situation like this, uh, looks like he's slowing down a little bit. Let's see if he tries to pit him. He may try to pit him here. Yeah, look at that. Pits him. Pits the, the truck here. Oh, and it overturns there across the center meeting. That was something else. And I know the, tr the trees were, uh, and he's on the run now, on the run. And uh, this is now a foot pursuit. So the driver wasn't uh, injured that badly, at least, that he could still run. He is on the move here. And you can see some people. This looks like a, a mini mall of some sort. We're going to try to get a better angle here of this uh, foot bail now, this foot pursuit. That was, that was an aggressive move there to hit that vehicle. It overturned and uh, came across, across the center divider there. And, and it looks like now they may have this, uh, this man apprehended. We're gonna, we're gonna get into a better viewing point here. He's, uh, he's apprehended here. Uh, again, uh, the suspect, uh, the driver, there he is right there. And CHP taking uh, him into custody. But that was a violent uh, ending to the pursuit, that pit maneuver. As I said, you have a high-sided vehicle like that, and you just tap it on the end, and, and it went end over end. Rick, I mean, w what do you make of that? If this really was just a stolen vehicle to do that aggressive of a, uh, of a pit maneuver? Clearly, it was successful, but th that seemed more aggressive than what we're used to seeing, right? Well, well, I'll tell you what. Here's the situation. This guy is endangering a lot of people, and it crossed two counties. He wasn't yielding. He was driving recklessly. He's not a good guy. And they wanted to bring this to an end. And if they thought that it was a safe time to do it, the officer is obviously looking at opposing traffic as well because he had uh, not only the westbound lanes to worry about, that was the direction the pursuit was traveling in, but also eastbound lanes. Uh, and just a slight tap, I just mentioned,
mention how uh, a high-sided vehicle like this is not going to be the most stable. It didn't take much uh, for this uh, for this to end, and this driver now is in custody. And again, you said alleged uh, stolen vehicle suspect, but he may have other wants as well. We don't know at this point. Yeah. And we don't know if anyone else was in that vehicle. All right, Rick. We'll check back with you in a second. Let's come back here in the studio. Um, we're going to get a quick check of weather and then figure out some more and probably information. Let's go back to the crash scene. This is, let's go back to the crash scene. Let's still look back at the crash scene. We don't keep, this is done, Pat. I just want to make sure nothing else is. Uh, we saw La Puente. Um, we're close to Carson. All right, what would you like us to do? Oh, it was gnarly, huh? No, that's, you know, it was just a, that's gonna happen. All right, everyone, I told you this replay was brief. It was only about seven minutes, but wow. I've been working here at News Now, which is a part of Fox10Phoenix.com for nearly a year, and I don't think I've seen a police chase end in a rollover situation like that. A lot of you are like, that was interesting to say the least. And then you see the wreckage, and it looks like possibly a fridge or two or a freezer, some other type of equipment, possibly a television was in there, that bed of that truck. But uh, you can see here, officers took that suspect into custody. Again, it was a reported stolen vehicle. And just like that, the feed goes away. But you saw the replay right here on News Now, which is part of Fox10Phoenix.com. Hope you're having a great Friday, everybody.